guys, I felt like vlogging today, so I picked up the camera. I uh, decided to go down a size in the sports bras because they stretch out on me, so just ignore the cleavage. It's not intentional. It will stretch out, I promise. I am about to head to the gym and I'm gonna train some glutes and some hamstrings. Those are my favorite areas to train right now because those are the ones that I wanna bring up the most. I want calves too, so. Yeah, I will show you guys that. I know I always show you lower body workouts, but I don't know why. I just like, I like them better. So I show them more, but I will try to show more upper body workouts as soon as I can. The sun is finally staying out a little bit later, or the sun is finally setting later than mid afternoon. So that's a good thing. I thought my living room looked pretty nice today. I'm gonna start decorating it more for spring. It's like a complete and utter mess right now, but still pretty cute. The thing that I hate the most is cords. They're so ugly. So yeah, that's my little brief intro. Oh, um, earlier I ate salad, which I did not clean up after. Then after that, I had a cinnamon roll, a part of one. And then after that, I had some gummy candies. I have been snapping my meals a lot because I don't vlog super, super often now. I'm gonna try to vlog more, but um, I know that everyone really wanted me to show them what I eat. So I figured Snapchat would be a really good way to uh, just show you guys. So you should definitely follow me on Snapchat. It's Robin Gallant. The Lululemon. I think this is the energy bra and I went down a size, like I said, to a size two. This is a cool eraser back, which I had cropped to fit the Align pants. And these are the Align pants in the blue. And I also, I had to size up for these ones because they simply did not have the size two and I was waiting for it forever. So I was like, you know what, whatever, I'm gonna buy it in the size four and just deal with it. So yeah, they're still super comfy. They're just like, not as secure feeling. I'm a little bit full from the launch. You get there.
everyone so I wanted to record a quick voiceover for you and I wanted to talk about the step ups so I worked up to 100 pounds here for a set 12 and I found it to be extremely challenging um, just a couple of tips if you're new to the exercise I would consider it an advanced exercise it requires a lot of balance and core strength um, and that can make it more difficult to focus on the muscle that you're actually working on. So this is the type of exercise that I would do later in your lower body routine um, and with less weight, just more as a burnout exercise, maybe even do them body weight. Um, and also keep the stepper low, so use less risers and or use a shallower bench and that will help you get used to the exercise and make sure that you're feeling it in your glute. And make sure to step onto the box with your weight through the heel and try to avoid pressing off with that leg and focus on the leg that you're stepping up with. So that's all I wanted to say. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. And don't forget to hit the like button for me. It really helps me out. Okay, bye guys. So I just got home from the gym and I sweat a little bit because it was really warm in that gym I don't actually normally go to that gym. I go to another one which has a lot better air circulation So I don't sweat which is what I'd rather today I'm wearing a white tank top and a white bra the white lululemon fabric will turn color like it will yellow with sweat and wear so I actually take really excellent care of my Lululemon. I pull out all the stops to make sure that it lasts and stays really new looking. So I will show you one of my tips that I use to keep my Lululemon looking fresh and especially for the white stuff um, or any of the light colored stuff. So what I'll do right away is... I <laughs> Lord, you guys should see this tripod setup. So I'll actually take off the white stuff right away not gonna leave it on, let the sweat dry. It's like sweaty here and everywhere. <laughs> so I'll show you my trick. 
So I've taken off my lemon. I want it nice and fresh and white. So I filled up this container with a little bit of warm water. So you want it just warm enough so that it's gonna dissolve the Oxy Pro stuff. So this is just like a no-name brand. It's literally called No Name. I don't know, it's a Canadian brand. But um, you just wanna look for powder that will turn into like a hydrogen peroxide solution. It has bleaching power, but it's not the same as conventional bleach. So you're just gonna pour some of this. And it's not, it's pretty harsh, but it's not as harsh as regular bleach. So it's not gonna like ruin your stuff. About a half of a scoop for this warm water bath. Ah. Don't breathe it in. Dissolved enough, it's clearly or like a saturated solution so that whatever's left on the bottom will just stay on the bottom. But then you're gonna soak your lemon in the water bath. And then you'll leave that, I would say, probably not for too long. I would leave it in there for only like, I don't know, 10, maybe 15 minutes at the most. And then you'll wanna take it out and then put it through a wash. So what I'll do is put my white lemon wash on right away after I soak this stuff. And if you have any other stuff that's already yellowed, um, it can lift it a little bit. It won't take it all out. The best thing to do, like I said, is to soak this stuff right away. So yeah, this is kind of like a random tip, sort of fitness related, but um, I've always been really into clothing and I always spend way too much money on clothing. Growing up, like I would spend my paychecks on nice clothes, so I would always, take really great care of them. And I figured out all of the tricks, so I just thought I'd show you, share with you guys. So now it's soaking in there. We'll leave these guys for about 10 minutes. Wash my Lululemon as little as possible, so I'll only really wash it if it gets sweaty or it gets actual dirty dirt on it. Um, otherwise, if I just like wear, like say my black Align pants out for the day, then I won't wash them. Probably wear them two, maybe even three times without washing them. Um, and that really helps preserve the newness as well. So that's another good tip. Most of the time you can avoid pilling by hanging to dry. And you have to be super strict. Like if you put it in the dryer once, like game over, it's done, it's pilled, it's ruined. And we're gonna have my post-workout meal. So I'll show you how I decide what to eat. So we look at our pantry and for carbs, my options are generally would have some of this brown rice with a veggie and a meat. And for meat right now, we have chicken that is cooked and in the fridge, so it's, sorry, that was really close. We'll just bake the chicken and then we will throw the full chicken breast in a container and then put it in the fridge. And otherwise we have these steaks. My friend recommended them to me and they're, I think they're called like Black River or something like that. They're like hamburger steaks or, something but they're extremely lean they only have like maybe like two or three grams of fat in them and then 23 grams of protein and then some carbs i'll have like one of them so we bought some ground beef like sometimes we'll have that cooked up or i'll just cook some up and then other times we'll have the ground turkey that's cooked up so that's generally what i will have and then i'll have like green beans with it or some of that kale salad and the snack yeah, so I tend to eat like bro meals and then I eat like junky snack foods just because I'm bulking right now. So I just try to encourage myself to eat what I want so that I will consume enough calories. But I think for this post workout, I'm being lazy. So I'm gonna have this quinoa, lemon and herb chicken. It has quinoa in it and I just really want quinoa instead of brown rice. pieces, kale and chickpeas. This is what the meal looks like. And I think I'm gonna make a smoothie, so I'll show you guys that in a minute. Finished product. It's a little lighter green than it's supposed to be. I added too much water. 